Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. So today From we're Osaka. yeah today we're in Osaka. We were planning to go to Osaka Castle, but then we're, we're not that like sightseeing type of people. When we're older and more mature, we will be. But we're going to a famous, I guess, food shop market in Osaka called Kurome Ichiba. Apparently, it's really famous. When I searched up Osaka food markets, this was the one that popped up, like through like ten links. So it's a Kurome. Kurome Ichiba or something. Anyways, just search up Osaka food market and then you'll find it. So we're gonna have a look to see what is in here, and then we'll show you if there's anything interesting. What are we trying today? Um, there's no real name for it other than just snail. Um, but yeah, this is. I don't think I eat that top part. I think you eat the whole thing. <laughs> it was a hidden part. We thought it was just that top part there. Turns out this whole. Number. I'm actually not that afraid because I've had snail before. Give that a go. Sorry, it took a while. I was trying not to vomit in my own mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Rude. I'm not used to it. Oh, I want to vomit so bad. You don't have to finish it. I don't want to. Do you want it? Time to move on. Do you Next stop. When you go on holidays and look at socks. Oh, pick these off. Socks. Socks. Big ass socks. <laughs> Big socks. <laughs> Yes, we're in a food market. At the Kurom Ichiba, you can find washing machines, socks, and all sorts of kind of things in a food market. You can basically find your, your whole life. life. If you want to live in one place forever, live in Kurom Ichiba. Because if you need a machine, well, if you need a washing machine, here you go. And if you need clothes, if you need clothes, they've got it too. If you want food, obviously there's food here. And a toilet. Tell you guys what we're trying. What are we trying? Fatty tuna. So good. Right, I'm gonna try it now. So we've got prawn, we've got salmon, and we've got the best scallops in the world. Like, look at the size of those scallops. How would you compare them? It's just. 
Put out your thumb, put out your thumb. Like she has a big and long thumb. The scale is freaking bigger. What, do you want to compare it to an iPhone? <laughs> it's freaking a quarter of the iPhone size. Like if it was any thicker, it would be half the iPhone size. Yeah, if you give us three scallops like that, that's the size of an iPhone. To compare like that. Yeah, that's huge. Go right, for it. Let's quickly go for this. I don't really want the rice. Don't eat the rice then. I like it. Just rice. Um, just sashimi. Moving on. This person right here is a sushi Nazi. <laughs> Look at her lips. It's freaking all oil on her lips. I love salmon. I haven't had salmon since the day I was here. In Japan. Alright, ready? Scallop. The finale. The part that we're all waiting for. You had it with the rice. It's okay. I'm not it with rice. I like the cheese. Confused. Am I going to be depressed when I try it? I don't think it's as good as the last time we tried. What was the other one that we tried? I don't know where we had it, but it was sweet. Hey, I'm gonna try it. We are trying the infamous white strawberry. The thing is, this is very brave for me. Usually I'll wash my fruit before I eat it. Oh yeah. Today I'm gonna eat it right outside the place we got it. That strawberry better be bomb because that costed us what? Eleven dollars? Eleven twelve dollars. Yeah, twelve. For one more. strawberry. So that better be bomb digs. Ready? Eleven dollars better be on your face after you take a bite. So elegant. <laughs> One dollar, two dollar, three dollar. Okay. I think that's enough said. Describe it to us. This is amazing. Why? It's like sweet, but sour, but not sour. Because it's not sour like vegetable strawberries, but it's really sweet and really strong, but in flavor. But it's not sour. It's just a little bit sour, just not sour, but it's sweet. It's Food really in nice. Japan makes you speechless. Yeah, I don't really know how to explain it, but the fact that it's good and it's it's sweet but not too sweet. So our opinion is, go try it. Bombed. So we're finally leaving the Osaka. What was it called? Kurum Ichiban Market. <laughs> in a way, I felt that. In a way, I felt that it's better than the Tsukiji Market because I, I don't know. It was nice and small, and it's just. You can spend more time at one store and you don't feel too rushed. So you can easily probably spend about two hours there. Yeah, we probably spent around two hours, two, three hours there. And then you can try out all the foods. There's a, there's a bigger variety around all the stores compared to Tsukiji Fish Market, where it's just the same thing like over and over again, yeah, but just like in different stores. Yeah.
So we're now going to go to Donto Don Donto Bri. Don't really know what that place is about, but I've heard of it. It's really popular. So just gonna walk there. So if there's anything interesting to show again, we'll show you. What are we doing right now in the middle of the shopping center? Okay, so 666 is the devil. So, no, let's start from the beginning. So, she um, needed our... Person is yeah? happy in 777. So, 777. Um, yes, 777. I thought 777 was hell, was like the devil, and like happy in hell, happy with the devil. Um, so, I Google Sorry guys, the battery died. So, continue with your stop story. So basically, I googled, once I put in the happy in triple seven, I googled, what does triple seven mean? It means the day of creation. So really, she means happy to be alive. It's what her password is. And I but, thought it was, yeah, and then. Yeah, no, 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 I'll explain it. Can I explain this part no, 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 no. In my opinion Okay, first. all right. And then she wanted to prove herself right. <laughs> she searched up, what does triple seven mean in Ill Ill Illuminati? <laughs> More like. This girl is Illuminati. <laughs> okay, so do you want to know why yeah. I said what does triple seven yeah. mean in Illuminati? It was because when I was backspacing to get rid of the seven seven seven, I was gonna write six six six. But when I meant when it was like what what does seven seven mean in or something, and then I backspaced, and then it came up as an option. It came up as what does seven seven mean in Illuminati? So I typed it in. Because it came out as an option, so I thought maybe it means something, so that's why I wanted to find out what it meant. <laughs> but yeah, that's why. And then I tried in triple six, and triple six meant the devil. So triple six is the devil, triple seven is basically angels. So she's happy to be an angel. She's happy to be an angel. <laughs> 